So Chris actually flew me out to uh, San Jose, and I talked to. Uh, Hmm. Big file or slower computer. There you go. So, so I was trying to decide what area to get into, and Chris uh, uh, flew me out, and I talked to uh, many many people in the in the research, and the this is slow. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you start talking about yeah. it? Yeah. The uh, so as I said, I'm going to go into HDD. So some people said, why go into HTT for magnetic recording? Because optical recording is going to take over the world. There we go. So, so the first page. And so I said, I'm going to go into a launch room and film this. People said, why do you go into launch room recording? Because perpendicular is going to take over the world very soon. And I let I, I think it was a terrorist. They said, there's nothing new under the sun in my very recording. They said, hmm. <laughs> but, so I took this advice and I went into a thing from this, launched to a thing from this next page. <laughs> uh, so I focused on the magnetics. This was uh, using cobalt platinum chrome that was just, be, it has been uh, worked on for a while and was getting ready to be shipped in the product in 88 from Rochester. Uh, but so I went through the, uh, the Tushan covered this, so I think uh, I basically repeated what he did uh, in the film form. So I studied the, uh, the how the film grew and how the microstructure uh, coupled to the uh, recording performance. So, so in, the, in, the, in that effort of reducing noise and in a sense re recording performance, it kind of naturally led to the uh, one gigabit uh, demonstration that was publicized. Uh, and, and the background of that was uh, Tinkton Disk uh, Cobalt Pattern Chrome uh, shipped in 88 uh, first, uh, for the first time from IBM in the Rochester product. Uh, but still there was a lot of question about how far can we push this technology. The, the app management were worried, you know, whether do we hit the uh, limit. So, the approach was, why not push it and see what happens? And that led to a gigabit demo, which is the next phase. So we did the, uh, we actually made that work, and <coughs> there was an internal announcement in 89. Mm -hmm. And we did uh, sort of three-part um, uh, presentation, uh, invited talks in Intermark in Brighton, uh, UK. Mm -hmm. So Chin Chan was the uh, sort of the architect of designing the system. Uh, head the media. Uh, Ma Min Chen made heads, and I made discs, and Tom Hao did the uh, channel. Which is that somewhere in the back there, I think. So, yep. so that, that, that came together uh, quite well. And it was uh, quite a large team, come to think of it. Not maybe full time, but there are a lot of skills participating in this uh, demonstration. So it was a truly uh, a team effort. Mm -hmm. So I got a lot of mileage out, and Chin was in demand for giving <laughs> talk. <laughs> I, I was featured in uh, New York Times. This is the old the, the Ramak. Oh, yeah. This <laughs> with yep. the uh, Tim Flum Tim <laughs> <laughs> And the Mike Ross here, uh, is, he was the uh, instigator of, of publicizing this effort from an uh, IBM point of view. So that was fun. Uh, and, and some comments uh, we heard from that said, well, it was a nice demo, but you can, you can never make these heads. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was <coughs> But I still remember after one of your conferences uh, we presented, somebody came up to me. I think he was a Japanese fellow. He said, thank you. <laughs> and I said, you're welcome, uh, but for what? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, because of that work, we decided to invest in the magnetic recording. Mm -hmm. So that was a very interesting perspective because I was a very naive researcher at that time mm -hmm. and didn't have that kind of perspective. So, mm -hmm. so I think it did have influence on the direction of the industry, <coughs> looking back. So then, the, so at that time, after we published, we said, what, when will it happen? So it, 
the <coughs> extrapolated the sort of business as usual case, twice that in both PPI and BPI, and this is where they are going to it's supposed to happen. And what happened, in fact, was we the industry went by the most aggressive growth. Uh, so by 90, 1995, new products are going in a bit higher than so I think that's the end of the uh, story, <laughs> my perspective. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you.